The other fantasy league. I don't know who it was. Oh, uh, the one we don't speak about. Yeah. Oh, the one that counts. Pretty funny because I kind of stopped playing that fantasy league today. Ten seconds remaining. Who, who is actually playing in this particular fantasy league that we currently Five have? Five seconds. Remaining. You're still playing. W I'm playing you. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like actually playing as in like moving the players. players. I'm moving the players. But yeah, like so this I. week against you, I was like, I looked at what players you had, and it's impossible because you have like three Navi players and two, Navi two players. Cla like two, two Cloud9 players. players. And I had like so few players playing this week, so I'm like, oh well, fuck it. Yeah, I'm playing Boy again. Lost. My Ash Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> Who was it that lost to Boy? Bruno. Yeah, Bruno. But they, he changed it. Bruno, yeah, fucking cheater. Yeah. Oh Actually, my I reported look that. Look at my points this week. Like, this is bullshit. The one week that I do well. That's what happened last week, so I had like 100 points against Boy <laughs> last week. And I have like a Vost and stuff as well. Alright. Shall we talk about the draft a bit? Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit. They have Chen Bane. That stuff is scary. That stuff is all about that that pure deeps. Yeah, man, the double pure. The double pure. The double pure. Yeah. Alright, Cloud9 is running a very, very stable Cloud9 draft, which I think Cloud9 is actually one of the few teams in uh, Dota 2 that you could actually just ban out a player. They seem to have the heroes, and like Visage is always big for them. Yeah, yeah. Mirana is fairly common. Luna is one of Envy's go tos. Yeah. And. Uh, Drew, which is banned, is also there. Ten Actually, this is very interesting. They took out the uh, A and as well as the Grave King. Virtus respecting Pro a bit, ban. I guess. I guess. I mean, it was a good combo back then. And won them a game that they yeah. weren't n not supposed to win. Uh, Who did they beat? Uh, someone good. Alliance? Alliance. It was Alliance. Yeah, it was Ten alliance. seconds remaining. The oh, yeah. EGM Rubik getting wrecked. I kind of like VP's draft, though. Five seconds because. remaining. Decent enough lanes, and they've got a lot of team fire. Yeah, they got decent everything. Yeah, yeah. Time. It's split push everything. Going to be interesting to see um, where the Ember Spirit goes. If it goes mid against Mirana, is it Mirana? I'm saying it's Mirana mid. I need to pack off lane. Sing Sing usually Both plays Mirana safe lane. Like is Luna mid? Wouldn't surprise me. I think okay. judging by these numbers, they don't win a lot. No, no, lots of red. But hey, if they're Radiant second pick, they have a chance. And they guess what? The, coin. the Radiant second pick. They were Radiant second pick. Damn, they have 50% chance to win now. Yeah. I'll take their mods. I'll take the mods. Mm -hmm. And what's, what happens with um, Virtus first pick Dyer with Cloud9? Oh. 50%? Oh, oh no, 60%. Oh. No, they yeah. don't win much either. They don't win much either. That's Cloud9. I mean, I told you, they win very convincingly and they throw very convincingly. Let's move the. Bottom top. So, so what happened today? Are they going to win convincingly or are they going to throw convincingly? Um, I say they should win. Okay. I don't, I don't see why not, really. But Ten seconds then again, remaining. When you have an Ember Spirit, if you don't win really, really fast, five seconds remaining. It starts to add up. Yeah, it's really difficult, like him. Like if uh, Shadow Demon defensive disruptions you, and you just time. go and slide off the three illusions that are oh, together. Oh, and you have a Battle Fury? Yep. Mm. Oh, baby. One mm. or three, right? Ooh, this is actually a very poor pick, in my opinion. DP. They pick Spectre into Shadow Demon, which I consider Shadow Demon's a, a straight up counter. Like, probably the strongest, I think. Yeah, I one think... of the counter to Spectre. I think, like, We've been super seeing more and more of that later. Remember yesterday when Chen was picked? Yeah. Luna! And it was also um, Naga and straight into Spectre. Yeah. It was some weird. Let's see the how they fare against each other. How would you say? I would say like, oh. that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, two to one. That's fairly Please. convincing, to be honest. I think so as well. But anyways, uh, that's the draft, and guys, actually Shane. Yes. You're old enough now. Am I? Yeah. Sure. You can boat. You can drive. You can Ten drink, seconds smoke, remaining. Drink and smoke responsibly. Whoa. Five seconds responsibly. remaining. Responsibly. No one said on about that. <laughs> you, you can date girls. How that? I can try. Well, yeah. Girls can date you. Oh, I'm gonna leave you too, guys. I, I think you, you're ready. Okay. Then we can do the pull the reins and all this. Yeah, yeah. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Right. Have important Look in your super meeting. Secret important stuff. Say hi to James's mom for me. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Alright. Alright, we have uh, Virtus Pro on the Radiant side and Cloud9 on Dire. Uh, which, you say you like the uh, VP drop a bit more, Shane? Until Spectre. Until Spectre, so we're on the other side of the fence now. Well, I think Spectre kind of works 
in with the global kind of thing they're going for, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Spectre and Nature's Prophet are pretty cool together. Like they're kind of neat combo. Yeah. But against Shadow Demon, we saw the statistics. It was kind of what was it, 33, 67? Yeah. Well, I guess the thing going for Virtus Pro is that it's it's not just about a one-to-one -one matchup. So even though those two, the the, the particular one-to-one -one matchup doesn't look too well for uh, Spectre. But uh, for those of you guys who don't know, the reason why Shadow Demon is so good against Spectre is that when you disrupt and make illusion of Spectre, those illusions have desolate. Yeah, so suddenly, if, if she is left alone, I have two oh, illusions yeah, that are cool. dealing max desolate damage, which is 65 apiece. You could throw down a Soul Catcher on top of that, which is 50% oh, more. You could throw a Demonic Purge on top of that, so she's not moving anywhere, so she's just getting wrecked. They also have the passive as well, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. So I imagine this is going to be a game where Pilot I actually do uh, kind of max disruption. I'll you know probably max Soul Catcher first, but somewhere down the line it's going to max disruption. <laughs> somewhere in the game. Somewhere down the line, yeah. Okay. And here we go. We're going to have Dude. Cloud Nine the Smoke Yankee. It looks like they're going to look for a first blood. It seems like I, th I think the last time Virtus Pro also got picked off. Yeah, they did. Uh, they got oh. revealed, or did the smoke just run out? I, I think they revealed. Ran out. Yeah, Chen gave them a little wave, and they were like, uh-oh. Why did they send Spectre first? I guess he's the one that has the, the most tank. escape. And, uh, I, I guess she's tankiest. Seems kind of risky sending Spectre first, in my opinion. I think yeah, Bane... Well, actually, Bane, if you look... Bane has higher movement speed yeah. and armor. And more life. And so more life compared to Spectre. All right, Bane should be the new carry. But uh, the entire... Look at how many wards were dropped in the jungle. <laughs> Jeez. Four wards, oh five God. wards. Four or five. I did this in pub games sometimes just to piss people off, the but that's like the only game. reason. Like if someone's cheeky, you know, before the game, like uh -huh. an Aegis Prophet or something, going into their jungle to ward. I think the be one of the best way to actually win pubs, again, I think I said that damage. previously in Dream League, is you ran them. Yeah. No matter what hero you get, you buy boots, you buy sentry observers, war down their entire jungle, you win. Hmm. Because pubs always just have like one support, and they have always one jungler. I'm going with the random, buy boots and roam. Boots and a smoke, that's fair mine. Enough, fair enough. Who wins between uh, Sing Sing and G here, in the middle? Well actually, considering G has gone for flame shield... Oh. He didn't get much from it though. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, normally, the, the common build nowadays is it's Side of Fist and, and Searing Chains. But uh, Flame Guard, excuse me. I, I don't think Sing is ever going to get a kill on Ember because of that. Unless the Flame Shield's on cooldown, which it yeah. does have a long cooldown. The absorption is huge though. It's like five, 500 da damage at like max rank, which is. Oh, he's giving him a bit of guff. Yeah. He doesn't have leap. Get out of my lane. You see the benefit of uh, G being able to get to level 2 much quicker than Sing Sing. That's the reason why you don't want to get double waved, uh, as they say. Because once the enemy gets level 2, you uh, you actually could get killed. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing who uh, who gets first blood. I'd say it will be middle, to be honest. I think it'll come from top lane. Arzard. He's, he's got the boots of speed first, so Pilot I can actually go in range and get the disruption off. In fact, he's actually just poisoning up, and I think that's where the first uh, blood's gonna come. Oh, no, nice body blocking dreams. coming out here from uh, uh, Arzar. It was all planned. <laughs> it was all planned. Get low, and then uh, wreck. But Pesleta's being upgraded. I was I thought for sure Envy was gonna get his boots of speed, because he, if he had boots, he would have got that kill for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's what he usually does, and he gets a ring of protection and boots yeah. on any like agility yeah. card. Uh, the reason he he get boots is so he could run into the enemy jungle and drop a ward. But I guess this time he's going with the entire team, so not necessarily uh, needed for that. Yeah. And actually, I think Bone Seven might be giving up first, but he's he's forced to TP out. He already used his orb to get a couple of assets, and right from there, uh, Illidan went straight onto him. So that's really huge, though. Like forcing a offlaner to TP home is yeah. like, very important. It's not so much the experience. Ooh, wait, what? What? Uh, he orbed. Sorry, I thought he like jaunted back in the lane. I was like, that, that's not possible. I don't know, it's bone seven, man. I love the beast. Yeah, TPing back to the, the base is not the biggest deal because you're not going to get too much experience anyways at the supports of zoning you out. But it's more losing the early game goal because you want to get your boots yeah, quick, yeah. you want to get your bottle. And, and 
forcing 135 down the drain like that. Why do you not get mucho? 135 is a lot. Yes, can you actually leap out of Saren Chain? Yeah. Okay. It's like a it's like a frostbite in a sense, right? Yeah, you're not stunned. Okay. Double checking. So I yeah, I, I don't think Sing Sing's gonna die unless he's down without leap for whatever reason. Oh here's the big round from Pilot Die and over the thousand. He's only level four. And he's, he's level four, but he does have the flame guard, so the soul catcher has to land. Uh, but if it does, I, I think he's pretty much dead, especially with soul assumption. If Sing Sing can get the arrow with the disruption as well, yeah. he there might we even go. get the he might even get it off. Pilot Die walking into range. Oh, it's gonna go right side arrow. That's gonna hit for sure. The disruption? No. Are they gonna disrupt him at all? No. They're gonna just right click him for sure. Here comes the side of fist. The sharing chains. First the flame guard keeping him alive. The double star storm though. First gonna get the kill and even uh, Prophet Seven coming in to claim a little <laughs> bit of extra gold. Which, good for Radiant's him, but not good tower, for the support, because they probably want that uh, extra bit of experience. Meanwhile, the top lane, Envy, just diving deep, zoning the heck out of Arza. Oh, Arza or Arza? I'm so confused. Arza, yeah. Arza <laughs> was on the same team for a while. But no, actually, did... Oh, Radiant's so replaced. The reason I'm confused is James, yeah, James did that thing on purpose. Yeah. Top lane, here comes the disruption. The triple block coming in, but uh, tank out from Arza, another kill going to Envy. Me. Nice rotation from, rotations from, from uh, Pilot Dye and Envy2000. Yeah, they're very, very effective uh, with the rotation, which is a, a criticism that Cloud9 has been getting lately. It seems like a lot of times their supports are either hit or miss. I remember there's uh, one game where uh, Pilot Dye yeah, yeah. killed uh, Had the first blood thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't talk about that. That was in the past. Okay, in the past. What they're doing this game really well is rotating and making it work. So two kills so far from the two supports. And they're doing it without any ward vision, which is kind of yeah. crazy. They only have one ward in the bottom lane, and that's it. Yeah, Cloud9 is notoriously for playing without wards. Uh, one time I actually had a chance to talk and work with uh, Curtis Ling, which is AI2000. He's like, yeah, I don't actually attack. need wards. The and I was like, are you joking? He's like, no, no, no. We don't actually need wards. Okay. Yeah. And they just have the map awareness. Oftentimes, they, they play without warding the rune at all, which, you know, for a mid player like Sing Sing, that's very annoying. But, uh, you know, he's making do. I think it, um, they also check the runes for them though. That's like the supports yeah. do. Offlane do too. Uh, yeah. Bone 7 was making that rotation earlier to be the check. It's not too bad. Uh, what do you think about this particular build coming out from Illidan? Because, you know. <laughs> he's, he's known for it. He's known for builds. We see maxing, uh, oh. you know, Spectral Dagger. We see maxing Desolate. He's got that one point dispersion as well. I actually prefer this build a lot more than most of the other builds I see. Like, I see maxing, maxing the Dagger. I think the Desolate is actually way better. Uh huh. For when you ulti at level 6, it's like it gives way more damage than. Like, it gives it damage to everyone instead of just the Spectral Dagger Tower. Right. And the first point in dispersion is by far the best. Yep. Right. Like, okay, you get 4 extra percent every time you level it up after that. But the, the first, first point is what, 14? Yeah, it's a value point. Fair enough. Uh, the other kind of interesting skill that I want to talk about is Shadow Demon. Uh, I thought he was going to go with basically Disruption and Soul Catcher and max those two spells. For Shadow he's actually, Poison. Yes, Shadow Poison, which is very interesting. We talked, to, talked about the interaction against Spectre already. I think it's to do with the push coming out from VP, because they have a Prophet and a Chen. Yeah, so maybe they're worried about the early push. I mean, the wake flare actually isn't too Radiant's impressive. I mean, there is Puck, but Puck, you gotta keep in mind that he's gonna be somewhat under level until much later. Uh, Marana's, you know, creep clearing ability isn't too good because you have to get very nearby, which you can actually just get picked off. So, yeah, that's a good point. They're just pushing top lane with no competition. It's very, very hard to make that rotation because right now Sing Sing and Pilot Eye, they're Radiant's just roaming off on their own. Uh, if you don't make that rotation, you're gonna Radiant's get picked top off. Tower Free tier, tier 1 tower going to Cloud9. I think one of the weaknesses of Chen is that he has to walk everywhere with his creeps because he can't really TP play that often because he needs to TP, like that's what it's all about. The creeps can't TP. Yep, Disruption Arrow is going to go on Arzar. No uh, Soul Catcher, but a double Star Storm from Sing Sing. <laughs> and this is a build that I think you normally you should go for if you're not doing some offlane Mirana. You want to actually match your Star Storm first. Uh, some players like to, get, like to get two points in the arrow. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't understand it at all. It makes no sense to me. I think for offlane Marana, you don't have much mana to Radiant's actually use, top use your Star Storm, and attack. you're most likely like checking runes Radiant and shooting arrow mid. Okay. And, and that's pretty much all you're doing for the team, right? So, might as well just make that a little bit more effective. And your mana per damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Star Storm is actually quite expensive if you don't have a bottle, if you don't have that rune control. Or even in a yeah. tower. And right now, look attack. at Cloud9. We're saying that you know Radiant's they have to come out of the gate early. They have to attack. take an aggressive stand in this game, and they, they're 
doing exactly that. Tier 1 tower already down, tier 2 tower going down very quickly as well. What can BP do to stop this though? I mean, oh. well, they're gonna TP in, maybe. Ember Spirit wants blood. They're gonna get a deny regardless, so let's see how many are gonna kill as well. The stop not gonna attack. hit. No reveal. They sent you yeah. orders too far back. But that's not too bad, right? Like, they just TP one hero. Top they force four back. They got a tower, tower deny. Dyer's yeah, and it'll have been the whole time. It nearly has Vanguard. But it's pretty... Legit. And I think for Cloud9, they just have to respect Dyer's that. Because you see one person attack. TPing, but normally uh, that, that could turn into three. Especially with Han as well as Teleport taking into account. So if... Cloud9 takes a very, very poor engagement under a tier 1 tower, or tier 2 tower for that. You they could just straight no up die, right. so... Yeah, you always forget about the Spectre. Yep. I think the next thing that Cloud9 is going to have in mind is to pressure the bot tier 1 tower a little bit. Regardless whether they get the tier 1 tower, the Roshan is already open up to them, because Sing Sing's doing a good job kind of chumping, uh, forcing in mid. In fact, are they going to... No, they're not. Not yet. Yeah, they need to pressure mid and bot first, and then they could go for the... Look at this ancient stack from... Uh... Are they no. gonna kill Illidan? Uh, Moving he's got the phase, dude. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we seen offlane Puck yesterday, and it didn't go great. He didn't really have much of an impact. Think this, oh, top lane. Yeah, they're gonna haunt him for AUI, but the dagger missed, so... Oh, that's a lot of slow being taken away. Here comes a Grave Chill. He's gonna try to run out of there. Does he have a Tango? He doesn't. He's just completely surrounded, trying to buy as much time and space for the team. He does a chunk of damage to Illidan. Uh, but I guess, thankfully for Virtus Pro, they have the crew wave up top, so they could try to trade for this tier 1 tower. What do you think is the difference between Puck in this game and their game yesterday? Radiant's like, bottom tower have more is under impact? attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, you mean attack. for the, uh... Puck. The... The Navi puck, Radiant's yeah. middle tower played it. Has yeah. Been yeah, I think the big difference is that in that game, when you had the sniper as well as the gyrocopter, those two carries Radiant's early on don't do much, so you have to defend attack. and buy time for them. If you look at what, what Cloud9 is doing, Marana as well as Luna or, or semi-carry heroes attack. or carry heroes, they could do a lot early. Uh, Luna in the form of her aura Radiant's and allowing, what, that's three fallen. towers so far. Mm -hmm. And of course, Sing Sing's been getting a ton of kill with that double star storm. So I think that's a clear difference. Puck is really good offensive hero, in terms of adding that disable, adding that crowd control, and allowing your nukers to do Dyer's what they want to do. Whereas fortified. she's not that good as a defensive hero, which kind of what uh, Funic was pinned to, to do last time. Oh, arrow hits on him. Tower denied. No, tower that was close. Has Here comes GG, kind of low in terms of mana. Cooldowns are coming down as well. The problem with this particular build is you can't really spam your side of fist. Here comes a chain. He's gonna just get out of there. I'm surprised that he didn't just three three remnants and just. And I went in there for the Yeah, kill. we were talking to Wepas in the car about Ember Spirit, actually, and we were saying that, uh, like, a stick is, like, the most important... Well, Wepas was saying it's the most important thing on the character because it's such a low mana pool, and a stick yep. gives you so much. Dyer's middle tower I think, I think it's attack. very well warranted to get a magic wand, yeah. especially Radiant's against a Shadow Demon, where you know he's gonna be spamming poison against you. Top lane, looks like uh, Bone 7, orbing out of there. TP straight out, he might actually die here. Look at these damage. Uh, no. That's very, very the, quick the, clutch TP. The max death that it brings to the table. So, what's your opinion on the Vanguard first on Spectre? You know, opposed to getting a drums? I'm kind of all about the greed, to be honest, when I play Spectre. So, you're gonna just go phase into straight Relic? No, I get drums. Phase, drums, Relic. Because drums, you, if you need to fight, I think drums gives you enough. But a Vanguard, it's like so. It's like what? So defensive? It's so defensive, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the Vanguard's okay in the sense that we talked about the, uh, the Shadow Demon and mm -hmm. what he could do to you. Uh, and that kind of uh, the drums give it to the to the illusions as well. So maybe that's kind of uh, what they had in mind. Yeah, yeah okay. That but in one of these streamly games, we actually saw uh, one game where both drums and Vanguard was purchased. I think it was. Uh, was it Virtus Pro? Like uh, Virtus Pro, or was it like Rocks Unicorn with MYM? I, I I don't remember. Okay. But uh, for his sake, I hope that's not the case this game. <laughs> Because I, I think they need a relic very, very badly. No, he's definitely saving for relic now. Yeah. I can see in his eyes. Shadows take us. Oh. Right. Bottom the shadow oh, initiation. Just... It's scouted. Uh, actually, no, it's not no, scouted. No, it's not. No, it is. It is. AI is standing right under uh, Observer Ward. So that's seen. <laughs> Parrot Man, they're dropping yeah, they that are. Sentry Ward. They're using Illidan's bait. They're also using Luna's bait. Luna, of course, by uh, Envy, does not have BKB. I think Illidan's a lot tankier than uh, Envy though. 
Oh, Envy does have 15 armor. Uh, there's a Vanguard on the other side, though, yeah. Coming in, and uh, oh, the Wrath of Nature as well. They're doing a ton of damage. They can actually tower die, pilot die. Uh, they don't want to go in for that. Scouting things out. In fact, oh. they actually went for bot lane. Of course, AI 2000. You're doing a split push there. Yeah. That's what he loves to do on Visage. Oh no, he's gonna lose a bird. He's gonna two. lose two birds. Oh, he got it. Yep. Nice. And that's nearly my Top lane though, here comes Bone 7. Morphing out of there. Uh -oh, oh, he's dead. He was looking for a little bit more. What an arrow from Sing Sing. That's gonna get one kill. Here comes oh. the Eclipse. Where did he go? He disrupted. Oh, disrupted. So. Not exactly the best communication coming out here uh, from Palida as well as Envy. I hate that when you just like zone out for a second and you're like, what? Where's yeah. my character? Where's the enemy? Happens to me a lot. Well, that was not the best trade for Cloud9, but they'll take that. Wait to see when Envy does his stack, how much gold it'll have. Because that's like, one do like... Well, G, Sign of Fist? Does he not see him? I don't think he saw Pilot die. Um... It's night time. Yeah. But I don't think so, no. Does he have a remnant somewhere? He he must have. Like, yeah, it's yeah, in the top, okay. top river. Wee. Now back he goes. One thing I've noticed when uh, players like RTZ as well as Sing Sing mm -hmm. play Ember Spirit, they never do something like what GE does. And I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Yeah. They basically always have three random remnant on For them. the burst damage. Yeah, for the burst damage. And they never use it uh, for like teleporting back to base, uh, for the utility, that kind of stuff. So it's actually very interesting because you know it technically can do both. What do you think about putting a second point in at 11 in Fire Remnant? Um, sometimes you skip it, right? Completely. Yeah, because it's only 50 extra damage per Remnant. Well, I mean, then you just go back to say, hey, dude, is my Flame Guard gonna do more? Um, oh, he's gonna be it's gonna get disrupted. The, the, bird's... the bird's gonna be dropping down the air. No, he's already out of there. But I think they have created space uh, in terms of doing this ginormous stack. There's an Alpha Wolf uh, for Envy as well, dominated a little bit earlier. He's up to 1800 gold, no Ogre Club purchase just yet, no Yasha yet either. This okay. is Envy though, so we can do some weird stuff. Yeah, Mask of Madness. I, I, don't, think, I don't think this is a Mask of Madness game, considering that he's already got a helm. Yeah, that'd be a bit crazy. But yeah. Oh man, Mask. You, you got a lot of... Ma a lot of uh, no. Like still. We're actually clearing this up quite efficiently. Yeah. Because normally you, you just can't actually do this stack Dyer's of the size, but they had the Alpha Medallion as well. Yeah, Alpha Wolf, Medallion, the birds. Good. And Bone 7 nearly has Blink Dagger if he gets like two, one last there. Yeah, they're leaving them with yep. Bone 7. There you go. Ambitious. Envy, please. Like, please, please, Envy, please. Thank right. you. We got it. Dyer's oh, top tower. This is some I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. <laughs> To get power or <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised he actually got mono boost simply for the fact that as an awful you don't have too much gold to work with so I thought he was gonna run straight for the blink dagger but, hey. Does this kind of tell you no, they want to push like dagger the and they need the mana to continue to just Yeah I suppose because Pilai Dai also has a mana boot so I was saying maybe one mana boot is gonna be suffice because you're not dealing with like an EMP tornado or anything Yeah yeah um, the, the only thing that drains mana in this game is a possibility of a diffuser blade coming Dyer's in a little bit Fiend's later. Tower and Fiend's Grip, yeah, that's the, the other thing as well. But it looks like a tier 1 tower tray for a big ancient stack, which, you know... Not worth. Well, Virtus Pro couldn't challenge that stack anyway, so... Mm. They tried, and then... I don't think you want to challenge stacks when you're this close to the Relic. I think you just, like, give me five minutes. Yeah. But the thing is, is, is Relic even good, though? Again, we talk about Shadow Demon Disruption and stuff. Like, you just give them Radiance give them for 8 radiance. seconds. Yeah. Yeah, and he will always find your illusion, because what are you going to do, not haunt? Yeah. So, I, I think Cloud9 is actually sitting pretty, despite the fact that there's a Radiance coming their way. It's just a free Radiance. It's yeah. a very good point. So, what uh, else would you get, then? Like, if you... I mean, I, I still think Radiance is really good. Yeah. Considering the fact that if you look at Cloud9, they have a very, very squishy lineup, right? If a uh, Spectre of Haunt and you disrupt in a Haunted Illusion, do you get the same stats as you would if you normally disrupt I believe so. Hello. Yeah, he... find the arrow? A little bit of miscommunication. Uh, G always has these perfectly placed spirits. Like, the whole, every time we 
He's been in trouble now. He's always had a spirit to come home to. Yeah, I think in this particular game, like, not having spirits, I was very suicidal. Oh, as we see, a coil coming down here. Jotham's going to be going down for sure. And, uh, well, again, the creep wave is right next to the tier 2 tower. They have... The wolf. The alpha wolf. Radiant's the alpha wolf is just doing a lot of lifting. He sent them home to heal as well. Really? Yeah. They treat your wolf nice? What would you say MP call wolf? Like an anime name. Radiant's Crazy. bottom Probably tower after has some fallen. Anime that has a wolf character in it. I can't think of one off the top of my head. There's an anime called Wolf Rain, and apparently that's really good, but I haven't seen any recommendations out there. Wolf Rain. Wolf Rain. Or was it Wolf Spring? Sleeping tonight from watching that. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> nah. Well, oh, I haven't watched it myself, so I can't really recommend it by my uh, first time. When I watch anime, I go pretty balls deep. Yeah, man. Like, I'd watch the whole anime in one in one. I recommend sit. you an anime that has, like, two seasons, a spin-off season, and, like, a movie. And a movie, yeah. Did you, did you finish watching it yeah, all? Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, Arrow's gonna hit on Illidan here. Where's the Eclipse? The Eclipse is gonna be used just for a mini sun. The Purge from afar. And Luna's gonna Dyer's get yet another kill. Is under Ball to relic. It's fine. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's, it's good. It's grand. Yeah, the one thing I've noticed about this game is that Cloud9 is just simply rotating much better than Virtus Pro. Like Virtus Pro, they try rotating, but they just don't have that lockdown and initiation power. The only thing they could initiate off really is the Saren chains of uh, yeah, of Ember Spirit. Yeah. Have we even seen a Fiend script this game? No, we have not, right? Maybe, maybe we missed it when he used it on the Visage bot. Remember when AI died? I'm no, he, sure. he got gone on bottom twice, and I don't think he, maybe we missed it. No. Yeah, and I think until like Jotam gets like a Blink Dagger, I don't think you know it'll change. The, in terms of the initiation power, so. If I'm VP here, I'm gonna start worrying, like, very soon, because Envy has a lot of gold, and so does, uh... Anything? Like, 3.5k? And what did he just buy? He bought a Mantis, though. I think Mantis has, uh, in a pretty good position if you're looking to, you know, see, like, the way they would do. Here comes mm -hmm. Han, they're gonna go on the bot lane. Ball seven going to the right side. Flame spirits are coming in, and that's gonna be yet another oh, he kill. Got away. Nicely done. What? He got away. TP looked like. Yeah, what happened was uh, G's flame was like there was one to the left and one to the right, so they had to go all the way to the one. Yeah, the yeah, right. I know, but he has Saren chains. He yeah, has side of fist. He, he has flame guard. He couldn't get there quick enough though, because of where the flame spirits were. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It's a downside of leaving spirits Dyer's around the yeah, map. Exactly, yeah. 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 Under attack. So. I, I, the point I was trying to make earlier, I think against like a disruption into the world. Oh. Uh, Envy? Okay, yeah, there's that like, grip. He's got Aegis though. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, well, Aegis not even gonna be used. Kill that wolf, he's gonna kill the wolf. Mantis out coming back out, and the Glaive's gonna be bouncing left and right. Envy's still alive. And yeah, he is gonna be alive because he's life stealing off of Chen's creep. Still alive. Oh, so Assumption's gonna come through against NS. He's gonna get right click down Marana, leaping back, and Envy's still alive in the midst of all these confusion. Meanwhile, G trying to run using that spirit for what it's worth. He has bottle and TP. I, I don't think he's gonna be able to TP out because you can notice that AI is leaving the bird. No, he's gonna just TP out of, away from the Bones of Envy. Parasite just split pushing. These last two days, we've seen the power of a uh, Shadow Demon. Yeah. Being able to protect carries like that. Top five initiators. <laughs> Very little initiating being done over there. Well, you gotta kill mid and kill top in like, well. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, we're we're talking about the okay, you gotta choose top five initiators. Under attack. No, no, what would it be? And, uh, Radiant's middle tower has one. fallen. Well, we haven't finalized the list, but uh. Yeah, Let's just say, say that Shane is fighting very hard for Shadow Demon as top 5 initiator. <laughs> and I'm not very sold on that. Top 5. <laughs> I, actually, I can see him being... You know, he's top 10 anyway. He's got the amount of courage, which is a very long range initiator. And it goes through PKB. Still not sold. Not sold. He doesn't need a blink dagger. He doesn't need any items. Whereas, like... A clockwork is like by far the best though, I think. Needs, needs nothing. Yeah. Able that discussion for another day. Although I say that, but Cloud9, they take their game very methodically and slowly, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the table we, will be. We have the time, we have the time to talk. At least for... Okay, you're Cloud9 here, what are you waiting on? What's the... What's the... You're waiting on Ags, are you? From Unerry. Like 140 gold away. 
I think you, well, yeah, that's a great point. Like, finish it at AX is, is good. I think Envy actually needs that BKB. Mm -hmm. Like, we saw, despite the fact that he did not need to use Aegis last fight, uh, I think he is actually getting pretty low. Uh, with that said, there's always the argument of, hey, I'm gonna just rely on Pile I Die, have him disrupt me like he, he previously did, yeah. and just go for something like Satanic or a Butterfly. Um, well, but if he, he's going for BKB, he has it in like 100 gold. I, I think BKB is still the right choice, because as we're going deeper and deeper in the game, you actually want that disruption going on to the Spectre, so you want to rely it. Especially now that he has Radiance. Yes, exactly, so. Okay. So we might see a smoke gang coming out very soon from uh, Cloud9. Yeah, they're kind of all just hugging each other. I'm so afraid. When, you're, when your carry is sitting in your base, and not farming, it's mm -hmm. never really a good sign. Well, I mean, again, you have to respect the power of the disruption of the arrow. There's just so much way for Cloud9 to instantly kill you. Would and you almost call it initiation? <laughs> 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 Alright. Honorable mention, okay? Honorable mention. Okay. Top 5 initiator, Shadow Demon. Go. Oh. Smoke ain't coming back out. This could be really bad for yeah, BB. If Dreamcore gets 2 or 3, that could Hello. be nasty. They're gonna see Jadam and Jadam. Well, oh my god, he's gonna get blown up by a ray of ultimate. I say that he's gonna be running to his team. The mech coming in a little bit too late. Envy. Lucky roll highlight that's gonna get burst out. Here comes the hottest doing a ton of damage. Gotta focus on Illidan and Vanguard doing some work, but is it gonna be enough? It's not gonna be triple kill coming out from Illidan before dying. And now Bone 7 is gonna be on the run. Where's the blink dagger? It's gonna be in two seconds. He won't get it off. Ooh, blinks it away. Slide of fist cooling down. On the chains. Slide chain that's gonna find Sing Sing. The arrow will hit from Sing Sing. Sing Sing sleep on cooldown as well. Dyer's bottom tower that is under attack. And that should be it. Dyer's yeah, the movement speed creep fortified. As good as that engagement went, we saw the burst damage coming out from Virtus Pro and the necessity of a BKB, in my opinion. Like, if you look at Envy's current goal right now, he's, he's at 3,800, so he definitely lost a bit of goal, right? He, he was at 4k goal. If he had BKB in that fight, would have gone much, much better. The birds slowing down Arzar, and he's gonna get picked off by a double Star Storm. Where's the arrow of destiny? No, the chain, the purge is gonna come through. The Manta style. Uh oh, where would he go? He went behind. Uh oh, he's dead. Oh, Arrow, bang. Oh, oh, he's dead. Arrow, bang. Oh, Kill from Sing Sing. Right between the eyes. Even though Envy in that, died in that fight, the more important thing is they were able to basically clean off everybody. They killed Spectre. Yeah, they killed Spectre, and just now they killed the Ember as well as the Nature's Prophet. And more importantly, Sing Sing was alive through all of that. So he's gonna get a ton of gold. And he needs the gold because. Uh, we see how hard Envy is getting focused. And you have to... Jotham got taken out of the fight straight away. Like he was... He didn't get any spells off at all. This is the unfortunate part of uh, being ganked as a support. And there's a BKB from Envy. They even used the Dream Coil to like secure the kill. He was gonna like... Heal. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. And they Dream Coil just to kill him. Okay. Don't underestimate that brain set, man. It always... Like it always turns... I mean, it's like a 600 life point swing. Yeah, it's crazy. Last thing Sing Sing needs is to be held down by Fiend's Grip. He's gonna complete his I, I believe the item that he generally likes to go next is a Maelstrom. Yeah, he loves that item. Yes. Which is gonna be nice uh, if you throw it on Envy or whoever that's getting focused. Actually, especially against Flame Guard. Yeah. It's, it's just gonna proc us. And Radiant. Yeah, us, yeah the Radiance counter. Mail never finished on Illidan. What do you think about that? Hmm. Against Shadow Demon? Does it work on the illusions? It, it kills the illusions instantly. I don't sure. think they die instantly, do they? If there's Blade Mail on? Maybe. That's a very interesting uh, thought. Come to Smoke Gank. Huck is... Can they get the Fiend Script? Yeah, that's the question. Here comes a hot immediate phase. He blinks out, and they're gonna get Highlight Eye, which... Hang in the gank. I mean, is that even worth? Well, Highlight Eye is pretty important to these team fights. Together. It is, it is. Especially if they get a little bit more momentum, because Roshan is alive, and they have the wave shoved up all the way to Cloud9's tier 2, so they have to deal with that as well. But instead, if you look at the creep believer on the bot lane, it, it's pushed. So, Get down there, Arzar. Yeah, they're going back, and that's gonna free up Roshan. If I'm Cloud9, I'm walking straight into the pit. It's down as well, so... Arzar is so afraid. Let's finish one battle for you. 
Do you hear that water? Yes. It's raining. And it's, I think our roof is like leaking. Huh. It's not leaking, but. A waterfall in the studio now. <laughs> I wonder if the broadcast is or the rain sound. Probably. Soothing though. It is. My favorite thing to do Radiant's is to wake up is, like wake up attack. in like an afternoon rain or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just don't know. Don't do anything. The smell of rain. Roshan has fallen to the dive. On seven with it. Oh, Coil's gonna hit onto Illidan. He needs to get out of there. Shot him. Oh, oh, look at the damage. Shit. Much damage coming up on Cloud Nine. And well, the Eclipse is not gonna do too much because of all the like Chen creeps. NS just like standing there. The Glaze is bouncing left and right. NS dies straight up. And look at that team fight. That's how close it was for everybody dying. Yeah, Illidan, he wants to come back in. Well, if he, he has Han in 10 seconds, so I think he's gonna get the kill ages, though. Wanna fight this? Oh! The got the blame mail, traded his life for it. I don't think that's worth it. Not worth I think we should have like a thing on the side of the screen that has two boxes that says worth, not Check. worth. Check. And then everyone in the chat gets to vote. Yeah. That would be... You know what? That's a great idea. We need to make that happen. Computer wizard here. That's Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. What does Bruno not do? What can't he do? What Apparently he dance. Apparently he doesn't like dancing. Does he not? No, well he's, he's good at it, but it's like... I like to show people. <laughs> <tower is laughs> I see, attack. fair enough. How does uh, Battle Fury on the birds with the sleight of fist work? It doesn't, didn't seem to do that much damage to them. I'm confused. Are they count as, they're not counted as heroes, so they don't do any extra damage, right? Yeah, it does half damage. Yeah, so maybe that's all. I thought it'd do way more though, because they're so close together. It's not like the closer they are, the more. Yeah, if they're the in the cleave if, damage. If they're in the Battle Fury AOE though, which is kind of small. I mean, you just get the cleave, right? Yeah. Cloud Nine's gonna just uh, back off. All of these engagements are very, very close, but Cloud Nine's just winning it just a little bit. And the a little fact bit. that they went up high ground by Roshan and won a team fight is kind of insane to be honest that's like, actually a great point yeah especially when envy's eclipse did absolutely nothing yeah because there's so many creeps so actually maybe cloud nine is just much much stronger at this point it was also the visage birds like annihilated shot him like yeah annihilated him with that said that team fight there was no haunt for virtus pro yeah and we saw how low hp at least pilot die as well as bone seven was when they're limping away from the fight so if they actually had haunt that would have been a much different engagement for virtus pro so I wonder if they actually like wrote down the haunt timings like hey guys no haunt. Let's I wouldn't go. I would not be surprised. Yeah, I've seen a 10 LMV stream <laughs> It's impressive, you know AI was telling me that uh, Lately he's been calculating the amount of experience that a neutral camp gives so that if, if someone's invisible Yeah, someone's invisible and if he's pulling and somebody's taking away his experience like how freaking try hard do you have to be? That's it. It's kind of you can notice it though. You can notice it, but he'll look at his experience and bar. Every time. Yeah, that's impressive. That's like mad fucking. I've noticed it before, like on big creeps when you're level one or two. It's yeah, kind of yeah. noticeable. It's, it's it's very noticeable on like centaurs. Right? Yeah, yeah. But when you're killing like a satyr, you're like what? under attack. The tiniest creep that you like two experience like that. Give me one. Actually, so impressive. But at a certain stage, you have to think, like, what is too much work to do in a Dota game? Do you know what I mean? Like, if you take down all these tiny things, maybe it takes away from your, your play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the smallest thing that... Here, here's, here's a counter-argument to that. I think a lot of people always say, hey, you know, you should just tread swap. Because mm -hmm. you take away 10 mana, 10 HP, or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, the argument is, hey, you know, that's good and all, but like if you focus on that so much, maybe you're not looking at the map. Maybe you're not communicating with your team, right? Is that kind of your point? Like it, it takes it away? Well, tread swapping is one thing because you can do it like naturally. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and I think, I think you just train yourself to do it naturally. It's a muscle memory after a while. Something like looking at a different thing on the screen is kind of different. Like if you have to look away from the screen, actually, it's oh, on 
comes the Haunt, and the Saren Chain not gonna hit too much, and they're gonna go in and fight. But Envy, this time, there's no Trian, there's no Chen Creep, immediately melt Jada. And this is not a good find. Envy gets a double kill. Arzar on the left side in a very awkward position. Jump on deck, and nobody cares about that because they want Illidan dead. And here comes that disruption. The damage is gonna come through. Look at how quickly she is dying. That's why Shadow Demon, you do not pick Spectre into that hero. Holy yeah, crap. That was pretty scary. It's also right click damage against Ember Spear. Like, add him alive. Yep. Like, we just sat there and just true glaze and we just fell over. I, I just didn't understand why they took that fight. There was no like terrain advantage. It was they didn't have the army of Chen They didn't creeps. have ours, Yeah, they didn't have like initiation or anything. It, but felt, it felt almost like panic. Yeah, and I think that's really the problem Dyer's with this particular lineup. Like we said attack. earlier, Cloud9 has uh, Radiant the, instructions the Blink Dream Coil. What does what does Virtus Pro actually have as a real initiation method? It just is uh, Ember Spirit, top I guess. Tower yeah. has fallen. Initiated with Spectre will be Link Hex coming in on Arzar. Arzar is going to get bursted down for that long range soul assumption. The Rack's fully exposed, and that's exactly Radiant's how Luna likes it. <laughs> Send it kind of dirty. Oh shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. I didn't even realize. It's like it. Fully exposed. It's uh, the easiest move Rack's ever. Luna's one of them heroes, though. Like, is there a hero like it in the game? I don't think there is. In terms of taking Rack's? Yeah. I think Tiny comes. Tiny is just like one racks at a time, you know? Luna attacks you, the racks, all your little huts, yep. everything at the same time. No mercy. And the worst part is like, as support heroes, you want to stand behind the racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you actually make things worse, because you, you give them better bounces. Nowhere bounces. safe in your base. Like. Yeah. I wish you could blow up, uh, you could set dynamite in your, like, your racks or something like that and blow them up. <laughs> and do damage? Yeah, yeah, do damage. It's like... We're gonna take our racks, but we're taking you with us. Montekis. I actually think if Valve wants to like make Luna much weaker, they could just like spread the buildings out a little bit more. They could not bounce the buildings. Or that, that too. Spread the buildings out. Make the base like 40 times bigger. <gasps> oh my god. So it takes like 10 minutes to get out. To me, what looks like a desperation smoke gang coming out. In theory, I think Virtus Pro could win late as well because you could get a hex on uh, Nature Prophet. Ember Spirit's also one of the hardest uh, carries, I think, at least. I think we say that a lot, especially in, in, in those pub games where uh, three Battle Fury and a Daedalus mm -hmm. and just kills everybody, but how often have we actually seen that in pro games? <laughs> never. Yeah, well, like, I've in never the games seen I've cast it, never. Yeah, really. so... But he has the potential for it, though. That's I mean, weird. I guess so does Lone Drew with 12 slots, but like... Yeah, but Lone Druid is a, like, we've seen him carry a good yeah. few times. Yeah, I think Lone Druid, maybe not a, not a good example. I just don't think Ember Spirit, at least in pro game, is played like like that. He's played for the mid game, yeah, first yeah. damage. Been to arrow. Oh, the arrow. Oh. oh. Try here. If I Some see. double ward vision going on here for the perspective view. Next level. You want to get that depth perception. Yeah. Aim the arrows perfectly. AC is nearly finished on every. He has like 1.2k gold Jeez. to go. It's gonna be scary. When your four support is getting AC, it's not looking great. How's the meeting? James's mom. Back, but he doesn't have a mic. I missed you, Bruno. Do you want this? What's going on here? All right, so Cloud Niner wrecking. Wrecking. Yep. Your entire team has plus 12 armor aura hmm. between a mech, that's an AC. Like, I think the Virtus Pro damage output, at least from that Ember Spirit, is zapped down to nothing. They need a buckler. So well, just on buckler floor yeah. Then for the active as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You can have 100% uptime on that active. What? Like a 10 mana cost though? <laughs> uh, something like that. Can they afford it though? Do they have 10 mana, you think? Nah. Did he? Didn't do it. Did he do anything funny in this game? No. Max dispersion or something. No, he max desolate. He played it as, as a uh, normal as you could imagine. Could imagine. Got a Vanguard first, which we had a good debate about. I like it. You like the Vanguard? It's a hex. Yeah. They're not gonna go on that. Well, if you didn't have Vanguard. Radiance middle tower right? is under yeah, attack. Yeah, definitely. They're like, 
Oh, wait, wait. We forgot about the Vanguard. Back, mm, back, back. Maybe because MV's not there. Maybe that's why I didn't go for it. How's the Ember Spirit doing? Not Fallen Fury well. and Kree. Baby Kree. Baby Kree. Uh, now he's going for the bigger Kree. Dead Daddy Kree. Put a Mammy Kree. I feel like this Ember Spirit, he tried to. Oh no! Dodge! Uh, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're pretty far away though. I don't think they can. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what's up? Think of our waterfall sounds. What is that? It's the waterfall that I, I installed yeah. yesterday. That's great. Are we WPCAs now? <laughs> have waterfall in our opening yeah. ceremony. Oh, we have need you heard about that? Like, what happened? Yeah, this they have a big Chinese tournament just. And ballet dancers. Build a waterfall for the opening ceremony in a stadium. <laughs> yeah, I saw that web. What's the story oh. with the, the Scotty? Just Fine, I mean, be happy there's a BKB there, right? I suppose. Wait, who's going Scotty? Uh, Luna has a Scotty. Oh, sweet. I mean, you just want to tank up at this point. Scotty doesn't know. I don't know. Oh. Like, what What can they actually do? They're right going to hell. It wasn't just once a haunt and buyback. That's a pilot, I guess. Here comes it. Haunt buyback. Envy on the front line. Just right clicking everything on the back line. Those supports are fine as well because they have armor up the wazoo. The nice disruption goes on Envy, so he is fine. G locked up. He's silenced. And the bounces from the glaze are just killing everybody. Envy dies. Does Z have to buyback? That's a question. Arzar, he's going to be fine. NS will TP out as well. And G comes back in with a sight of fist. So we'll buyback. On Spectre. A die back. Or a death for mm -hmm. uh, on Luna. For a fight that ridiculous, that was like. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, alright, we've killed the guys, let's go home. Yeah. Hey, kill the carries, win the game. The rest of the team cannot do anything. S save the carries. Save the save world. What are you, a cheerleader now? <laughs> Have you seen that one? No. Of course he hasn't. Heroes. Pretty good series, actually. Yeah. I like, um. Uh, well, the first uh, season. Then it went south. The only thing I know about heroes is that there's some Japanese guy in it. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Hiro Nakamura. He's what, probably the what coolest is his character. Power? He can stop uh, time. Yeah. And, tra and travel. OP? And travel in time. Yeah, you can. But like they kind of rewrote his powers pretty much every two episodes. Because yeah, the, the problem with that show was that everyone had, like, there were a few people that had so very very convenient powers. Uh -huh. So the like convenient for the plot, is that what you're saying? Well, no, yeah, like, they were so good, the powers. Like, this guy just, like, could watch you doing something, like a superpower, and copy your superpower. No, he could only copy one at a time. No, though. no, no, then they... That's later. At yeah, the beginning, yeah, yeah, he yeah. had everything. So the guy, like, he was... No, what happened was... The more like, people he knew, the, like, he was becoming absurdly overpowered. They were okay. like, nerf, please, we need to make yeah. it... And then he gets, like, this... We had a hero patch lock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But really, that's what happened. And then this guy, um, like the, the other Japanese guy, that killed like shoot lightning from his hands, yeah, but yeah. then he killed like do something. He uh, couldn't do it anymore? Yeah. yeah. It was kind of weird. And then he helps the other just like, he was by the power of love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the guy with the paint, that, that was the, the weirdest. Oh, uh, the hunt's gonna come through, Aegis and she's oh. on deck. Somebody's picked him up, please. Aegis gets picked up for, I don't know what got dropped. Oh, cuts. Oh no, AI! He's got the cheese, he's got the cheese, he's fine. Use the cheese and Illidan, he gets bursted down. The blame mail not doing a jack squat there. Meanwhile, Jesus, he's, well, he's slowing down. Envy, he gets oh. ripped. He's got Asia Sing Sing on the back line getting double kills. He oh. might not go well. Keep in mind there's no buyback on Illidan. And the base is and, and now. G hex on the back. Oh. I always like the chicken noise for Hex, because it. <laughs> GG. Oh yeah. I want to talk about the here, the superpower though. Okay. So this guy has uh, could paint the future, and that's so like but only, uh, only when he took drugs. No, no, then he like learned how to do it by. Again, that, okay, that's another punch log change. That was yeah. A, yeah, it was like, six point nine. without drugs. Yeah, like, it was not drugs though. Oh yeah, it was drugs. No, it was like yeah, it was you drugs. You said he could paint the future. Yeah, he could paint the future. He was just like going to a trance and just like pa paint the future, right? But like, it's very.